Hey, have you ever tried to model a sci-fi spaceship in Blender, only for it to come out looking like a tinfoil wrapped potato? Well, then may I recommend Production Crate's Blender Spaceship Generator, which can create an infinite variety of spacecraft based on procedural model generation. Best of all, the steps involved in this auto generation are so simple that even your cat falling asleep on the keyboard can create a spaceship that would make George Lucas blush. Let's walk through a few of those simple steps, and before you know it, you'll be creating some cinematic spaceship scenes in no time. Okay, so after you download and open up your spaceship generator blend file, you should be greeted with a default spaceship and what looks to be like an infinite amount of spaceship model parts in the outliner. Luckily, you won't need to touch any of those at all. Instead, scroll down to the modifier tab and to the spaceship base geometry modifier. This is where the procedural model generation for your spaceship will take place. But before you start messing with all the sliders, you're first going to want to click the disable all detail and disable all boolean, which will momentarily disable some of the detail in your ship. Doing this will allow the changes you make to your spaceship to load quickly, as opposed to having to endure that infamous blue spinning circle every time you move a slider. With that done, the first thing you're going to want to do is edit the main shape of the spaceship. You could do this by first going to edit mode, where you'll be greeted with some pleasantly simple geometry. You can then position the vertices of this geometry, which will change the overall structure of your ship. Next, moving up one layer of detail, we can move to the main shape section of the modifier. By adjusting the main seed slider, you can radically change the overall shapes that your spaceship contains, allowing you to make a spaceship with lots of round cylinder shapes, flat shapes, and everything in between. Then, the shape amount and scale sliders can be used to increase or decrease the amount of shapes on your spaceship and their size. Random scale can then be used to increase the difference in size between each of these individual shapes, and the offset parameter can be used to migrate your shapes away from the center of your spaceship. Once you've settled on something you like, you can scoop down to the main engine section of the modifier. Here you can choose from three main engine types, and each engine type has four different models to choose from. Then, using the scale and translation sliders, you can fine-tune how the engine sits within or on your spaceship. And the same thing can be done also for the secondary engines. Next, we can look at the big wings parameter. This is automatically turned off by default, but if you're feeling inspired by some Red Bull commercials or something, you can click the checkbox to give your spaceship some wings. As you may have guessed by now, you can change how the wings look and where they sit on your ship by adjusting the BW slider, then adjust the amount of wings and their scale by using the next two sliders. And of course, you can also change the angle that the wings rest on your ship. If you have four or more wings, you may notice that they take on an X formation. If you'd prefer not to have this, you can check off the BWX shape rotation, which makes the angle of the wings align with one another. Then, the small wings are pretty much the same, but, well, small. Now, to see the effects of the other parameters, we will have to turn on the detail and boolean once again. Using random boolean parameters, you can change the scale, amount, and overall randomness of the boolean added to your object, which includes things like divots and bumps and stuff like that. And as you may expect, the random panels does pretty much the same thing, but with the paneling on the spaceship instead. The pipe section can be used to modify the length, radius, and amount of pipes present on your spaceship. Then lastly, we have everybody's favorite part of spaceships, the Greebles. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Which can have their seed and scale adjusted to make your spaceship more or less greebly, I guess. Now at this point, your spaceship should be looking pretty sweet, but before you move on, don't forget to drop down to the name parameter and give your spaceship a name that will strike fear to the hearts of your enemy. Nice. Okay, if you're sick of looking at this pastel colored model and ready to make it look real, hop into render mode, select your proxy, then open up the materials panel. Yeah, okay, I, I know, this looks pretty scary. But luckily, it's easier to understand than you would think. You see, each clump of nodes has its own label and category, so you know what each individual group is doing. Now, to spare you from watching an hour-long video, I won't go through every node, but I will go through a few of the highlights of the types of things you may want to edit. Going over to the upper left groups of nodes, you'll find several color parameters. For example, you could go down to the main color and edit the color wheel to adjust the color of the main metal body of the 
spaceship. Then for the secondary highlight colors, you could go to the large paint group and adjust the color under the pattern mask node. Finally, you can alter the color of your incredibly ominous name by simply going over to the name group and adjusting the parameter there. Now let's say you want to make your spaceship more metallic and shiny. What you can do in that case is go to the head principled BSDF node and add a math node to the metallic and roughness inputs. After changing both of these nodes to multiply, you should be able to control the overall roughness and metallic sheen of your metal spaceship. Another interesting effect you can use is the top down gradient feature found in this node group right here. By adjusting the color ramp node, you can create a shade or even a color contrast between the top of your spaceship and the bottom. With that, the last thing I would recommend taking a look at is the normal node group, specifically with regards to the bump nodes, whose strength can be adjusted to increase how much the various details of the spaceship look like they are sticking out from the rest of it. Of course, bump maps usually don't affect the geometry of the model itself, so really these parameters increase the illusion of detail. And to get more specific about any of these parameters, you will have to venture more deeply into the node forest, but I'll let you do that on your own time. Alrighty, so now you got your model looking sharp, which is good and all, but if you want your spaceship model to be more than a glorified digital paperweight, you're gonna need to animate it. Now, while you might expect to be able to just move the model and keyframe its position, this will lead to, well, unsatisfactory results. This is again where we make use of the spaceship proxy, which can actually be moved and oriented much more efficiently without breaking your spaceship model. However, while you could just animate the proxy directly, a better solution would be to parent the ship to an empty and animate the empty instead. Instead. Another great thing about the proxy is that it comes with tools specifically designed for animation in the modifier tab under the add spaceship modifier. First off, you can animate the rotation of the blades on the engines of the spaceship by adjusting the angles given in the first two sliders. The flames coming out of the engines themselves can be animated by taking advantage of the next three sliders, which will allow you to adjust the length, scale, and intensity of the flames. Then, for an extra little cherry on top, you can even animate the rotation of the small greebles and the opening of the big greeble gate. And there you have it, you now hold the power to generate an infinite variety of spaceships to suit your spacefaring needs. Just maybe refrain from making a ball-shaped spaceship since we all know where that goes.